Hello, beloved one from Taos, New Mexico. Here this weekend at the beginning of a two-week road journey and having an awesome time. Unknown to me, this is the weekend of the festival here in Taos, so it's going to be very full of energy, laughter, music, love, fun. Just a prosperous weekend for all. That's what I wanted to talk about. What is prosperity to you? A couple weeks ago, I was at a friend's house and doing a blessing. And what came through me was a prayer that whomever walked through their doors would experience the peace and prosperity of the indigenous people. When that came through, I thought I was stopped by it. I thought, wow, that's an interesting and powerful statement. What is the prosperity of the indigenous people? Every country has its indigenous peoples, and they thrive despite the changes in technology, the changes in landscape. They find ways to adapt and to thrive. Here in Taos, the Native American influence is rampant. It's everywhere. So beautiful in the hand-woven pieces, the drums, the music in the background. And I think, wow, one of the true measures of prosperity that the indigenous peoples of the United States, the Native Americans have, is a sense of very deep culture and how often we have lost culture in our lives. We have a world that is full of soul hunger. People who, to their very core soul level, are hungry for connection. Doesn't matter if they have a dollar or a billion dollars, if someone's heart is longing for connection, that is deep, deep poverty. And it's a poverty that cannot be met by possessions. It cannot be met by accomplishments. It can only be met by human-to-human -human connection. And perhaps that is one of the greatest prosperities of the indigenous people, is they have not lost contact with each other, with their loved ones. The whole village raises the child. The whole village cares for the elderly. Have we, in the pursuit of our monetary prosperity, given up other extremely valuable measures of prosperity? For myself, one of the measures of prosperity is to have the freedom of time to be able to journey, to travel, to be with people one-on-one, -on -one, to learn about myself and the universe, to discover unconditional love and living here in the land with the people. I can't, couldn't do that with a nine to five job. And so there are sacrifices on one side or the other that I'm willing to make so that I can have the prosperity that works for me. Yesterday I had the pleasure of giving a ride to one of the men who lives off grid here in the Taos area. And he was hitchhiking on the road, carrying this gray bag that looked kind of heavy. As he got in the car, I discovered indeed it was heavy. It was car parts. He had walked into Taos to get them and was walking back to his place to fix his car. Well, walking back didn't seem like such a big thing until we kept driving on and on and on. It was almost a 10 mile drive. The heat, 95 degree temperature outside, and he was walking it. Had he not gotten a ride, he would have continued to walk. That's a pretty hefty price to pay, but he was willing to pay it because for him, prosperity isn't about financial needs. It was the freedom afforded to him living off grid. So what freedom, what prosperity do you desire in your life? And are your definitions of prosperity allowing you to have what you truly want in life. Sometimes we get stuck in traditional definitions. Prosperity means I have a lot of money. No, prosperous means that I'm overflowing and abundant in an area in my life. Where are you prosperous today? Where would you like to be more prosperous? 
I hope that on your list is the prosperity of the heart, prosperity of relationships, prosperity of an abundant overflowing of love in your life. Beloved one, go out today and find all the evidence of your magnificent prosperity already. And remember, as you walk this journey, you're not alone. We really are one. And I love you. Go be prosperous today.